is not your fight. You are a woman. Where are the men? So here's where I'm really upset is that we believe that men are protectors, protectors of the innocent, protectors of what is the natural law. I would say that women don't have fight in them, but men need to lead. So at the NCAA tournament, what I would have loved to have seen in a different America, in a 1950s America, let me tell you what would have happened. Yeah. Let me tell you what would have happened. Is that the fathers of every other competitor would have come down out of the stands and formed a line in front of William Thomas and saying, hey, tough guy. You want to get in the pool? Because you're going to have to come through us. JR, you're muted. I'm just going to jump in there because I can. You muted yourself. Damn it. Here I go. Go to his one shot. Let's go to his one shot. Screw it. (laughs) There we go. Let's go. That's why he's the director of programming here. This computer flips out on me. Either way, here we go. There is Charlie Kirk, as you guys saw there, Talking Point USA's Save America tour, um, reciting an argument he probably had with himself in the shower, because that's where people have their best lines. Uh, He's trying to incite some violence on transgender uh, athletes, kids, if you would. Uh, But he also continued on with his hatred, um, talking about specifically swimmer Leah Thomas. Watch this. Instead, I watched these videos of these masked beta male, low testosterone fathers kind of hunched over, not wanting to offend anyone as they work for the corporate machine. And I say, that's why this is happening. Women have been left to fend for themselves. And guess what? Now men are terrorizing them. William Thomas is a man terrorizing other women. Why are we putting up with this? And the reason is because we've allowed men to become weak. And so I'm about done with this whole topic. My patience has run thin. And so here's my challenge for every man across America. (laughs) This is happening in your local school board. It's not a matter of showing up to meetings and all this. You need to intervene. You need to show up to the sporting event. Like, this is not happening, actually. You're not competing against my daughter. She has XX chromosomes. You have XY chromosomes. Get off the court. Get out of the pool. You're not, it's not going to happen anymore. Yeah, he takes it further to other uh, uh, comparisons and all. But first, I want to start with this. I want to discuss this with you, Brett, because there's this righteous anger. There's this, I'm not going to take it. And this is barking and that's where the performative part comes in. You have to make sure you're super angry and men have to be the protectors of these women who can't protect themselves from these abusive people that want to come in and compete. <laughs> that's what we're so angry about. He doesn't care about women's sports. He does not care about any of that. My favorite part about all of this is Charlie Kirk trying to act hard. Yeah, 100%. like Charlie Kirk. He is one of the many right wing ideologues who very obviously has a strange penis. Like a weird, bendy, strange one. And he's trying to compensate for that. And they they see like Trump is actually kind of an alpha dog. He went in there, you saw him on the stage of the first Republican primary debate, and he just smacked everyone around. And that makes all the followers of his feel good, but that's what they are. They're just followers. And everyone has coalesced around him trying to mimic that behavior, but they just don't got it. You see Charlie Kirk. Like as though he just got done with some weird stagecraft class being like what you do is you lean back and you try to act tough and try to act hard. But it just doesn't read as natural. It does it doesn't bear out. He's not pulling it off. And yeah, and it's, it's very obvious to me. You gotta have like this authoritative voice. And I'm not he even mentioned that he said it directly. I'm not gonna this is about the last time I'm gonna talk about this. You promise? Because this is the moneymaker. For you to talk about it and act like this is the biggest problem in the country. And then also these women are being assaulted in their sports. Again, these are the type of folks who before gave not a damn about women's sports. But it's a political win for them in their base, so now it's suddenly a big thing. Speaking of political wins for their base, he even took an opportunity to compare Leah Thomas to Vladimir Putin, who oddly the leader of his party loves. So this is a weird comparison, watch. I want you to imagine Michaela Phelps, 
No, I know the real name's Michael. But what if Michaela Phelps just showed up and started to smash records? But you know what? Michael Phelps would never do that because Michael Phelps is a winner and not a cheater. Michael Phelps actually can win against the men of men and doesn't need to go compete against women. We don't like when the strong crush the weak. That's why we don't like Putin. That's why we don't like Leah Thomas. Leah Thomas is doing the exact sort of moral behavior. I am not saying Leah Thomas is bombing hospital maternity wards or not. Of course not. It's the same moral principle. I have power and I'm going to use it for my own benefit. benefit. This is the same tagline that um, is, these are just failed athletes that would like to compete and then win in women's sports. So they go through these extensive lengths for a collegiate high school. They, they talk about high school athletics. The people are, are going through these lengths to win a, 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 a Midland Michigan basketball game. <laughs> it's I mean, weird. it's so stupid. Like we just have to decide. <laughs> Like we have to decide what women's sports is. Is it a social event or is it like this test of biology? And and he is not interested in having that even that like crazy ass discussion. He just wants to signal culture war issues to his base so that he can make more money. That's what it is. He said, "Oh, Disney's trying to make your kids gay by having gay characters in Disney movies so that they could turn more people gay." No, that's just so the right wing can have their own media company that replaces Disney. That's it. It's all of that and it's so mm-hmm. consistent. And in the meantime, they're ruining people's lives. They're advocating for ruining people's lives, not letting people be who they are. And it's so hilarious that a entire movement that's predicated on freedom of speech and freedom of expression is anything but. Talking Points USA is what it should be called. Everyone calls it Talking (laughs) Points USA, but it's only their talking points. And they're not gonna let anyone say what everyone else wants to say. It just has to be this weird bastardization of a certain interpretation of Judeo-Christian ethics. Which none of which they will follow, I guarantee you that. Oh yeah. We've seen that over and over again. When you see what they actually think they follow, what they say they follow and what they live their lives is absolutely not at all.